Which one of you did it? I will hold a trial. I will be Judge Judy. I don't know. Who took a bite? Hi, Keep It Crazy family. So you guys have been asking, what does our after school routine look like? It's a little crazy, <laughs> but we're gonna show you that today. So I'm super excited about that. And then first we have to run to Costco because we need to get some toilet paper. I and feel some like, milk. I feel like that's the one thing, or the two things that we're always out of, is milk toilet, toilet paper. paper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we go through so much. It's Alex's fault, we blame him. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're the reason why we're out of all toilet paper all the time. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. It's, it's everybody. Jay. But um, anyways, oh, I want to show you this other thing by the front door. So come here real quick. I found these cute rugs and these two wreaths at Hobby Lobby. But then I still have these trees. These sparkle trees. I can't bring myself to bring them down or like put them away for Christmas because they're just so cute. And I don't know what else to put right here. Some kind of plant or something, but a little bit longer. And then the sparkle trees will go away. I fixed it. Thank you. Actually, I messed it up when I fixed it. Oh. He keeps kicking this rug every time he comes in our car. I got okay, big feet. While we're headed to Costco, I wanted to tell you guys or explain to you kind of our afternoon routine a little bit. Our afternoons get actually really, really crazy because when the, so the elementary, Monday, Tuesdays, uh, Thursday, Friday, so four days a week, um, the elementary school gets out pretty early, like around two-ish, and then um, the middle school gets out, or no, then the high school gets out an hour later, and then an hour later after that, the middle school gets out. So pretty much for a three hour period, we're just like running around, picking up kids from school, and- I put on my bus driver hat. <laughs> Aaron puts on his little bus driver hat. We kind of take turns picking them up, and actually Alex picks up the kids a lot from school. He's very helpful when he's home, and yeah, he, he likes to drive, so he's like, I'll go get them. But, um, and then every Wednesday is a little bit different. Oh, and then Aurora goes to school for four hours, so she's kind of in the afternoon. Um, um, but then oh, later on, Aurora wants to take a nap. Oh, then take a nap. <laughs> um, but every Wednesday is a half day in the school district that we're in. So Aurora doesn't actually have school on Wednesdays, which is why she's with us today. And then Aurora does have school tomorrow. Um, we're actually filming this on a Wednesday. And then the elementary gets out like way earlier, around noon, and then an hour later high school gets out and an hour later middle school gets out. So it's kind of all split up and it takes a lot of our day just trying to drive back and forth. And we live like, so if you live more than a mile away from the school, they'll provide a bus service. Well, two of the schools are actually 0.9 miles like from us. And so they don't provide bus service. So we literally have to drive because we feel like it's a little far to walk, especially for the elementary, because there's like busy roads and stuff around us. But anyways, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, we are a little bit in a hurry because they get out so early today and Costco didn't even open till 10, but they get out, you know, at 12. So we're just kind of in a hurry, but hopefully we'll have enough time to get everything that we need from Costco. This looks really busy. I don't know if we're gonna have time. We're gonna have to be fast, like 15 minute Costco run. Let's go. Oh gosh. We're gonna be running through Costco trying to get this done in time to still be able to check out and then make it back to pick up kids from school, so. Run!
Okay, so it was really, really crazy in there, but surprisingly, it took us about 18 minutes. We were hoping to do it 15 minutes or under, but it took us about 18. Um, but one thing that we like to do is Aaron and I, because we didn't have time to eat lunch before we go get the kids, so we actually split up. I went to the food court real quick while he was checking out, and it worked out. We made it out in enough time. We just got everything loaded in the back, head home, unload it, and then we have to start picking up kids from school. enjoying our lunch date. <laughs> So we are out of time. Erin is going to go pick up the elementary kids and I'm going to start putting their snack together. So we have to split again. I'll mix you. You'll be alright. You can hear Jamie singing in the background, it's so cute. Um, but normally I would cut the grapes in half, but I am like out of time, the kids are gonna be home in just a couple minutes. So we are just putting them in whole today. Trying to do it as fast as we can. Fun fact, I had actually never tried black grapes until very recently when we went to visit Hannah's biological mom. Um, and she gave us black grapes and they were so good. And I was glad I saw them at Costco today and I'm like, yeah, let's add that to the fruit bowl this week. I'm only putting a few raspberries in. Hallie actually likes to eat these, just snacking all the time. Just waiting for the kids to get out of school. Can't wait. So this is my favorite part of the day. I love picking up the kids because right when they get out of school, they're super excited to tell me about their day and what went right and what went wrong and what homework they have and they need this permission slip signed. And I just love all of that little interaction with each of the kids and seeing how their day was and just, yeah. That's my favorite part. You probably saw me get excited for the cherries when we were at Costco. I love cherry season, love it. I don't add it to the fruit bowls. This is what I eat at night when I'm like watching TV or relaxing. I just love to eat these. It is all done. And I love Jamie singing. I'm like having a rock concert when doing this fruit. She only sings when she's really happy or has had a really good day. So I always know that she's really happy when I hear her singing. All right. We have them all picked up, but now we just have to wait for this long line of cars. Yay. One thing I do always keep on hand is fruits and vegetables. With the kids coming from foster care um, and having like where they would hoard food and different things like that, that is one trick or one thing that I tried to always do was have fruit and vegetables. And I told them anytime they want to eat that, they can. They can come out in the middle of the night and have as much fruit and vegetables as they want. They tend to choose the fruit over the vegetables, but that's just that. But it does seem to help that they know that there's always food there and there's not like a lemon on it. Sounds like they just got home. We're Maddie home. always waits. Hi. Hi boys. How was your day at school? Good, good. Good? What do you do when you first walk in the door? As soon as I walk into the door, I go up to Maddie and just play with her. Oh, start petting Maddie. She waits for you guys all day. No, as soon as I walk in the door, she just jumps on me. I'm like, Maddie, you up. Yeah, she go, runs upstairs and I walk up the stairs. Then she jumps on me on the stairs. I'm like, Maddie, you're gonna make me fall off. <laughs> and she, she just chases me into the room. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you forgot your planner. Wait, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> your agenda. That goes in your backpacks. <laughs> Through a lot of the studies and like things that I've done, it's actually really important for kids to have a snack right when they get home from school. It's like a whole thing with the brain and that's a whole other thing. But, so we always do snack time first. I'm having them wash their hands first before eating. We just don't know what kind of germs are at school. I may not be school age, but I still need a snack. <laughs> All right, who wants whipped cream on their snack? I do, I do, I do. You would think after all these years I would know like portions and stuff, but I feel like literally some days I'll do like a certain portion and I have ton left and then the next time it's like not enough and the kids are like, we want more, we want more. So every day is kind of different on how hungry they come home, on what they eat for lunch. Sometimes they refuse to eat what they had for lunch because they didn't like it or whatever. So I feel like I need to add a little more fruit today um, to it, but did you guys like lunch today? What did you guys have um, at school lunch? I had a chicken sandwich with barbecue sauce. That sounds good. Yeah, I didn't finish it because I, I had the girl really fast. I didn't get. I didn't have a barbecue sauce in mine, but I had chicken sandwich. Did you sauce. like it? Was it good? Yeah. They're all putting the black grapes to the side because they thought they were olives or something weird, but they're literally black grapes, guys. They're I so good. I think it was olives. <laughs> what did you think it was? You didn't know? Yeah, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just like, You don't like it? You don't like the I'm it tastes like regular grapes, but look, I can't, I can't even get it on my fork. Me either. That is the biggest grape I've, I've ever I'm, seen in I'm my the life. Oldest, I'm the oldest yeah. out of all of them. No, I call the first. I call the first. I call the first. No. Okay. I'm the oldest out of everyone. You get it. Wait, there's another big one. So a lot of people ask like how much of a snack does it take? So these were two pounds of strawberries and it took two of those. The high schoolers aren't home yet and neither are the middle schools. So I'm hoping we have enough because that's actually all I bought from Costco. Those are the only ones that looked really good. And then it took one pound of grapes. I did three kiwis, a little bit of raspberries and then like a half a pound of the black grapes. So I don't know what all that is together. A lot of pounds of snacks right there. But most likely this will all be gone and all we might have to even put together another snack. Awesome. Or you have three little grapes left. Hey, look, I only have a little bit left. Okay, you guys are good. Mama, Mama, we'll keep it too. Yeah, Mom, mine's running out. Whipped cream is a treat in our house. We normally don't get whipped cream a lot. So that's why they're like, no, you have one grape left. You <laughs> going too far. Can't we say whipped cream? The other thing that I found best is instead of jumping straight into homework is to have the snack and then play for a few minutes and then start homework. So let's go do some tricks on the trampoline. Let me see your best front flip. loving the trampoline. We do have somebody coming out really soon to re-put in the turf like around the outside. So if they like fall to the sides, at least they're falling on grass, well fake grass, yeah. So next we usually do homework. A lot of the kids don't have homework this week because it's parent-teacher conference week. Uh, but if there isn't homework, usually we read a book or we do uh, flashcards to do. So he's gonna, working on his subtraction. He should be on multiplication. You're good at subtraction. <laughs> It's not a really I'm not good at Okay. Four. Two. <laughs> Nine. Um, Seven. I'm off to get the high schoolers. Yay! Next that comes home. I kind of like that the elementary gets home like an hour before, or an hour and 15 minutes before the high schoolers so that we can have that time, which is the four of them, and it's kind of on their level, and then the next group comes home, so. Okay, love you. Thanks, Four. Four, 20, 30, 3, I mean zero. This is what I have to do. Like that, then you get these the denominators. Bring them down. Wait, here's the 10. And 
You just get the factors out of it, and you do that, and then you do that. You need to help the high schoolers on their homework. <laughs> So that seems complicated. The high schoolers, I struggle to help them with homework because their math and their stuff, they learned it way different than how I learned in high school. And so it's, it's a struggle. Name a person who walked on the moon. Neil Armstrong. Hans Miller. N-E-I-L okay. space A-R-M-S-T-R-O-N-G. Spelling was my worst. I, I, like so bad at spelling. Neither. All right, high schoolers just walked in. Hi. How was your day? Good. How was yours? It was good. Anything fun or exciting happen? No, but the fruit looks good. <laughs> the fruit looks good. We'll get a bowl or something. I also got, I will like this one. Who did it got? <laughs> oh, I got, I got whipped cream. She loves whipped cream. Oh. <laughs> For the fruit, if you want. Or I have yogurt too. We're gonna go eat, and she wants to come with, so she's being nice, thinking it'll persuade me. Look at that cute face. <laughs> you know my oh. answer is still no, right? No, actually, this morning was so cute. So Aurora woke up, and she was like, "Alex, I would say hi to Alex," oh. and it was the cutest thing. I felt so bad. <laughs> and then she walked in his room, and he's like, "Get out!" And I was like, "Oh!" And then she walked in real sad. I was like, "Alex." She was so excited to say good morning to you. Fine, you can come with. Thank you. You're welcome. I did not. You're coming with us. So even though high schoolers just got home, they already want to meet me. No, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, and then I'll spend time with you. Okay. okay? They're gonna go to In and Out and get some food. This day's an early release. It's perfect. So we get out. out. My hair is still what? soaking wet. Yeah, so they switched the high schoolers and now they have lunch at the end of their half so days. They don't have to go to lunch. So they get out earlier, yeah, and they don't have to eat lunch at school. But now they're gonna go get some lunch. Don't just throw it. Wait, first you have to catch a grape. Oh, <laughs> that was that was good. <laughs> that comes home and eats a full out meal. Okay. No, that's true, it's okay. He's just so hungry from his day and all the thinking and all the working and the walking. You're really, really hungry, right? So, okay, this is what I was thinking. I found the full thing. These are literally pepper jack macaroni and cheese bites. Like, I had never seen macaroni bites before, so I saw this at the chef store like a month ago. You wanna try it? Okay. You excited? It's gonna be so fun. 10 minutes in the oven. Okay, set it to 425. We're gonna try these macaroni things together. I already said it. Oh, <laughs> you beat me. Okay, then you're prepared. It's Oh, I got it. Oh, you already got a pan. <laughs> he, he walked in the door and was like, I got this. Oh, I was thinking about the foil. If you put the foil down, then it's easier to wash. How's your day today? It's good. It's good. Do you have homework? Uh, I did most of it, but I'll send Okay. What can help you? I don't know how much to cook. Just cook a few. I'm sure a lot of people will try it. How hungry are you? Because you didn't eat lunch. This is happening. How was your day? Good, how was yours? It was good. Anything fun happen? Uh, not really. Just school. Do you have homework? Now. Nope. Oh. I never really get homework. I feel like this semester you haven't gotten a ton of homework. I don't. Do you have a ton of homework, Lucas? I have a ton of schoolwork. Is that homework? Is that like when you don't finish, finish it at school yeah, and it becomes homework? Yeah, me too. Okay, well, nobody has need help. I feel like the high schoolers hardly ever need help on homework. Or if they do, it's like super confusing stuff. And yeah, we have to have Hallie or other kids help each other because they're all used to how they learned it. I don't know, that's just a whole other thing. 
my kids are so afraid of these. They feel like they're like olives, and it's not an olive. Try it. It's an olive. Okay. Try it. It looks like really dark. Try it. It's good. You don't like it? It looks like a grape. It is a grape. I thought they were good. They're ready. I'm super excited to try these. I almost call them jalapeno poppers, but that's not what they are. Try one and tell me if it's good. And tell me if I like it. I already tried one. Oh, you did? Was yeah. it good? It was, if you eat a lot of them, it's gonna get spicy. Oh, is it spicy? Yeah. They have, they have pepper jack cheese in them. They're pretty good though. They're not bad. Mm. I'm just trying to get them on stuff. Oh yeah, it's kind of spicy. The last and final group, we're picking up the middle school right now. They should be out in a couple minutes. I what? came to call you because I had to tell you they were so good. The, you like them? They were amazing. I don't know. I, I took a bite. I thought it was a mozzarella stick and I was in love. It was crazy. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I'm you glad you like them. them. Okay, we'll get you those again. They were too spicy for Hannah, but they're perfect. So I okay. promise you they're perfect. Good, I'm glad you like them. That's my new favorite thing. Yay, good. All right, well, I will see you soon. I'm just picking up Jake okay. and Savannah. Okay. All right, love you. Love you too. All right, bye. Bye. Apparently, Alex really liked the mac and cheese ball thing, so that's, that was cute. Come here. So, Jake and I have this tradition. Every day after school, he comes and gives me a big hug. Come here, Jake. Come here. Give me a hug. <laughs> Bring it in, brother. Bring it in. I missed you. made really cool shirts today on what they want to change in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Savannah, let me see yours. Look how cute these are. Can I take my, can I take mine off? Yeah, and do you want to just show it like this? Yeah. He doesn't think he looks what? good in his shirt. I want to change the environment, aka save the environment. Oh, I love that. Cool. Then she has quotes of saving the environment. I love that. Emma did that. Emma did do that. <laughs> oh, Emma did that. That's really good handwriting. Yeah, that's why I had to do it. My handwriting's so bad. <laughs> that's why I, have I can't draw shirts. I should have had her do it. It looks very good. I love it. So one thing that Jake wants to change in the world is uh, drugs and alcohol. You don't want them to exist. Yep. I know. Me either. I, we've seen it destroy families, people. Yes. Like it's the worst. Which one of you did it? I will hold a trial. <laughs> I will be Judge Judy. I don't know. Who man. took a bite? Who did it? <clears throat> I call on the High Council. <laughs> Whoever took a bite is pronounced with high treason and is banished. I saw her teeth. Oh, <laughs> really now? I gave it the extra flavor. Spit. <laughs> I feel like the high schoolers didn't really eat the fruit very much, but middle school is. Well, at least Jake, he just got stuck at helpings. But you have to try the try the black grapes. And tell me if you like them. Those are grapes? I thought those were blueberries. You had fruit? Two. Oh, you had two helpings yeah. too. Okay, high school did have some. Yay. These are... Mom. Those are black grapes. These are blueberries. Those are not even blue. Those are olives. They are not blueberries they are not blueberries or olives. They're actually black grapes. Do you like them? Those no, I'm being olives. serious. Those are olives, aren't they? They're olives. <laughs> You're the I don't know tricky. why everybody thinks that it's not real. It is real. You are trying to trick I will literally show you the packaging. I'm not trying to trick you okay. in any way. Okay. I really will. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna show you. Sable seedless, black seedless grapes. Oh, those are purple grapes. No, these are black. There's purple ones. 
They're, I used to but they're these. different. Those, those are the normal yeah. grapes. No, these aren't normal. Those are normal. It says black seedless grapes. Yeah. But those, they have purple ones, they have black ones, and there's green ones. I didn't know there was three different ones in there. I only thought there was green and purple. That's what I thought. I didn't know there was black. Since I'm the last one, I get to eat out of the bowl. The thing that I do after I do my homework is play video games. And this is the high school and junior high routine. <laughs> no, after they have snacks, a lot of them actually like to take a nap. I heard teenagers need more sleep than the rest of us. <laughs> Like the baby stage. She laughs because she knows it's true. <laughs> First week, I haven't taken a nap, so I'm doing good. <laughs> so Hannah said this is the first week that she hasn't taken a nap, and she's doing good because she's going to bed earlier now, which is a good thing. Yeah. Have you taken naps? I took a nap Promise. every day. Every day. Okay, so the last thing is we want to do the little whip queen. Whip. <laughs> whip cream, not queen, um, thing where like, you pop it in your mouth, so we're gonna line everybody up, and that's gonna be our last fun thing. So I do believe in having fun with my kids. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you're having fun and like laughing with your kids, and I'm like, yeah, I feel like that's such good bonding and quality time, and I love to have fun with them, and I think it's really fun. So we're gonna do that, and then let me think if there's anything else. Get my oh. Savannah's glasses came in that we lost at a jump park a while ago. They finally, she got new frames and new all of that. She had some other ones and she has contacts, but she wanted this other pair. Um, so we do need to go pick that up and then, oh, <laughs> she brought me the whipped cream. Oh, you wanna do it first? Okay, you gotta go wash your hands with soap and water first, okay? Okay. Um, one other, or a couple other things I want to say really quick. So hellos and goodbyes are a big deal in our family. So if you notice we hug a lot or we're always like so excited and because I feel like I am generally excited when my kids come into the room from school or get home from summer or whatever. I love spending time with them and I love just having that. I don't know, I just get so excited and I get sad when they leave. The other thing too is I wanna do a dinner routine because we've started this new thing where Aaron has one of the kids like pick out a dinner with him and then they prep it and they cook it all together. So it's getting really good one-on-one -on -one time. The kids are learning to cook. Him and Ariana did it yesterday and the dinner was amazing. They just stuffed bell peppers, incredible. But, so we're gonna start doing that and actually Max and I are cooking dinner tonight together. So I'm super excited about that. He actually shopped for the dinner, picked it out himself, added it to the cart, and then when we did our grocery haul, like shopping, yeah. it was in there. Oh, it smells good, it smells like soap. Okay, hold on one second. Um, and so I'm super excited to make dinner with him tonight. So, okay, let's do it. And then we go over highs and lows and we talk a lot at dinner time, but. You ready, you wanna be the first? Okay. Okay, face this way. Wait, nope, this way. This way, I just got in her ear. Just a little bit. Hold on. Okay, ready? You gotta pop it. Oh no. You gotta pop it like that. No. <laughs> what are you saying to it? Mommy, I have. Okay, <laughs> let's get everyone together.